okay welcome back so now we'll try a different approach okay let me uh, scrap all this code and try to uh, uh, show a better way to solve the problem like i said the best way to debug is to avoid debugging in the first place try to minimize the amount of debugging okay so one thing you can do is break down this logic into really small pieces so we have this find minimum uh, subroutine right so that that is one step in your uh, algorithm so what we can do is extract this out into a function and then test it separately so we can just do function find min which will find the minimum value in the array so another thing uh, you might have noticed is all these variable names are like single letters right and it's difficult to identify what each uh, variable stands for so for example we use the letter m here so better variable name is to use something like min or minimum okay so now we have set uh, minimum to zero let me just copy the code and then see what what happens okay then we are returning the minimum here and similarly instead of using a we are using array so that we know it is the input array okay so now we have this function now what i'll do is i'll individually test this function and check whether it is fine because if there is an error then i know that the issue is not because of this function because it has already been tested okay so now let's just test this and forget about forget about our initial tests so this is our main uh, test function that i'm calling here so i just say return here i don't want to run that test instead what i want to do is test this find minimum function so i call find minimum with 1 2 3 check if it works okay um, now there is an error right so this is one of the common errors where uh, you know a, this error occurs if a particular variable is not defined okay that means you are trying to use a variable that does not exist but this error message itself is scary the first time i saw this i was like what the hell you know i'm I, did i break the computer or something it is printing some random stuff i don't know what uh, it i don't know what it uh, means okay uh, so don't worry if you encounter such errors so these are all the functions used internally by uh, node.js which is the javascript uh, runtime uh, and uh, it is just showing all the functions that are involved but in this case all these functions are not created by us but it is present in uh, node.js itself okay so the only thing we have to worry about is in which line of error the in which line of code the error upper, occurred so you can see that the error occurred in line 18 in this file and it also clearly shows that the error is in this if condition and the error is because m is not defined so let's just worry only about that and forget about these things okay so the error is in line 18 so instead of m i should use min so read the error message carefully you can also google this error message if you're not familiar with javascript error messages just take this reference error it's not defined and just google it and uh, you will see like bunch of uh, results on google so i would recommend reading uh, googling just reference error not defined because m is a variable that you created right and also add like javascript or whichever language you are uh, using so this is the uh, error message and clearly you can uh, see what what's happening uh, in this uh, blog post you have to read like four or five different articles sometimes to identify what the error is so get used to it that is part of programming okay and once you gain more experience in your programming language you will quickly identify these issues okay let's go back okay so we got zero so the expected output is one right one is the smallest number but still why did i get zero can you think about it yeah so the error is because we mistakenly ident uh, set the minimum value 
the initial minimum value to 0 right instead of that we should have set it to infinity so this is a common uh, technique where we use either minus infinity or infinity whenever you are trying to find the minimum or maximum so but initially i set it to 0 because i was not paying attention because i was focused on this main problem i thought oh this is a very simple thing let me do it i mean i can do it you know i don't need much concentration so that is another common uh, error that occurs in our own thinking so to avoid that creating these small helper functions will help you avoid debugging in the first place and even now we did do some debugging right but we debugged only around uh, seven eight lines of code okay so now that we think it is okay let's just uh, run this so if you're not aware of this uh, infinity trick i will share the uh, code with you and uh, you can run it for yourself and uh, find out uh, why it works okay so now we got the correct result so to be careful I'll, I'll add more test cases remember we had test cases for our main function it is also useful to have test cases for the individual functions uh, for the same reason right to make to make sure that it works so think of all the edge cases and stuff like that so what if i have just one number what if i have a negative number what if I have two numbers which are equal? So try to be critical and uh, try to break your own system. Okay, think like a tester. Okay, think like someone who is against your own code when coming up with test cases. Okay, so we got one, one, minus one, and one, one, one. Okay, seems good to me. Let's just change this. Okay, we got two so everything seems to be fine so now we are confident of this function and if there is an error in our main function we know that this is not the uh, cause okay so now what we can do is we can uh, uh, replace this logic with our find minimum method okay so ideally what i would do is i would not write all these like 20 lines of code i will start off by writing this code first okay so i'm following this approach just to show some of the uh, bad practices that we can uh, get into so i'm doing a uh, find minimum of a thing you can do is probably rename uh, there are ways in which you can rename a variable throughout the code so for now i will just replace it here Okay, I've replaced uh, m with min so that it's easy for me to read. Now let's run our main function. Let's see if it uh, fixes the issue. Okay. Okay. At least we are not in an infinite loop anymore. So the value of a is one, two, three. After that it is one, two, and after that it is one. And uh, okay, the actual output it is undefined. Right, so now we expect the actual output to be uh, uh, 3 to 1, right? But it is undefined. So now, once again, we have to go and debug the issue. Okay, so what what could be the issue? So once again, it will be easier once you like get more experience, once you solve more problems. Because it says that the output is undefined, it means that our function did not return anything. It's probably uh, that reason okay let me give another example so if I have like function hello I'm not doing anything here now let me call hello and assign it to a variable so now if I print x x is undefined so in JavaScript by default if you don't return anything undefined will be returned so as soon as you see this undefined you should be like oh it is because I did not return anything so let us re return this result Okay, this is our final value. Let's return it. Now let's run our code again. Okay, so now we got a different error. The in expected output is 3, 2, 1, but we are getting 1, 2, 1, and then this blank thing. So just by looking at this, looking at it, we, we could, uh, we should think, hey, this, this is the input itself right and we are pr probably returning the value of the uh, array itself rather than the length of the array so now 
because we have printed uh, the result and we have these proper test cases it is easy for us to identify the issue so that's one of the reasons why i recommend you to prepare these test cases yourself and also run the code on your system instead of directly using hacker rank uh, or repl so repl is okay but especially uh, if you're using hacker rank use it to read the problem but copy the code and put it on your repl or on your local system because uh, you know you can't see these errors easily on hacker rank so that is another common uh, error that people run into use repl or use your system cool so now uh, because i have these nice test cases it is easy for me to quickly identify the issue so the actual output is this the expected output is, output is this okay um, so now we can see that the error occurred because instead of pushing the length of this array i directly push the array itself okay so in javascript arrays can contain all sorts of values an array itself can contain another array let me show an example Equal to 5, 6. I can do x dot push y. So now we have uh, uh, an array within an array. I can also do x dot push uh, z. Okay. So this is also called as a 2D array. I'm sure you, you will be familiar with it. If not, spend some time learning about it. So that's what happened here. So JavaScript does not prevent us from adding all kinds of values. I can also do x dot push this. Right? The first two values are arrays, but the third value is a string. JavaScript does not care. You know, it does not uh, check whether the type of a, a particular element matches the type of all the other elements. So, but usually that's what arrays are used for, right? If you have an array, I want all the elements to be of the same type, right? If you have a string, I want everything else to be a string. That is uh, the use case uh, for arrays. But JavaScript does not prevent us from doing these crazy things. And that's why we have to be more careful when programming in a dynamically typed language like JavaScript or Python. Okay. So now let's uh, push b dot length rather than p. Let's run our code again. Okay, now we are getting 2, 1 and 0 instead of 3, 2 and 1. Okay. Can you identify what the error is? I'll pause the video. You can see the code. Okay, so the error is according to this uh, problem, we should uh, push the result, I mean, push the length of the array to the result uh, even before we subtract any items. Okay, so we should do it at the start of the uh, iteration, not at the end. Okay, so let's do that. And because you have fixed the infinite loop issue, let me remove this code. So now we are entering the phase where we are just solving some minor issues. The overall logic is kind of okay, but some minor issues are remaining. Okay, B is not defined. Okay, yeah, this is another common error, right? So reference error, B is not defined and uh, the error occurred in line number uh, 31. So the error is here. B is not defined. What it means is we are trying to use the variable b even before declaring it so you know it's i'll show an example here one thing i normally do is uh, try to uh, you know replicate the same error in a safe environment where you know i isolated that particular error i want to reproduce it with a small example just to make sure that my understanding is right okay so let's uh, try to get an error like this uh, I have the variable x and now let's say I'm doing x plus uh, ABCD. So now we get uh, reference error ABCD is not defined, right? So that is because the variable ABCD does not exist. Now if I set ABCD to 1, now I do x plus ABCD, I get a, I get some value, okay? So that is this error. Let's run it again. Oh yeah, I have to change it to a dot length. Okay, now we get i is not defined. Oh yeah, this is because I removed that 
foundation. <sighs> Finally, so our expected output matches the actual output, and now we are ready to test it with different uh, test cases. Okay. Now I remove the break statement. That that means it will help us uh, run all the test cases at once. So that is an, another common strategy I use. I will have one function and bunch of test cases. I'll run all the test cases against that function one after the other. Okay, kind of like what HackerRank does. It tests. It runs like 15, 20 test cases. So in this case we are doing it on your own. Okay. So here looks okay. Okay and uh, here too it looks okay so everything is fine now we are ready to uh, you know submit our code to hacker rank and see whether everything is fine or add a bit right so that's all about uh, debugging uh, we will uh, uh, i'll also show maybe some other common errors in the next video okay thanks for listening